How's it going, everybody? My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round four of the Lima Open. Super excited to be here with you. Today, we have Michael versus Denny. Again, this is round four of the Lima Open. This is a charity event. If you want to know the, uh, learn a little bit more about the charity that we're supporting today here with this event, type exclamation point, donate in the chat. There's a link to an article there uh, that talks all about La Casa de Todo, the uh, Peru. Peruvian charity working on building housing for the homeless in Peru. Thank you for joining us, and thank you to anybody who has or will um, donate to that cause. So uh, today I'm joined by my co-host, Pedro Zegara. How are you doing, Pedro? I'm doing just fine. A little hungry because it's after lunchtime, but I'm good. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and uh, and break down these lists. And before I go too far, I will tell you that I'm opening up. As soon as you guys see the graphic on the screen, the Choose Your Champion betting will be open. Take it away. Okay, so it's Michael bringing the first order. It's uh, Commander Malarus. It's three triple Epsilon Squadron Cadets. And one Kylo Ren, no upgrades in this list. And Dennis is bringing three Thai heavies, the three Onyx Squadron Sentries, and Lydan. All of them with uh, the configuration target assist, the single laser cannons, and Sheila Grace, and the three Onyx have the ruthless talent. So, looking at these uh, these lists here, who do you think has the advantage, Pedro? Um, I'm 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 really not sure. <laughs> I haven't seen the the Thai heavies. Uh, they have been you know for a while, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen them most in action. Um, I think the initiative here for for the um, imperial list is 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 really really good. They could potentially kill those Thai those types before they get to shoot mm -hmm. but there is also kylo ren in here and he's flying like really good like some problems with Liz is like when kylo shoot first and he's too close to malarus she forces kylo to reroll and get an strain but if you fly them like really separate uh kylo is still kylo so i'm going to go with the first order in this match all right so if you have not done it yet, you can go ahead and choose your champion on the screen. You see the instructions there. Those of you who like to play, you know what to do. If you've never played Choose Your Champion before, the instructions are there on your screen. All right, so looks like we're going to have an engagement right away here, Pedro. We're gonna, look at that. Kylo is facing down some of those Thai Brutes uh, right away I'll, on the top of the board. Unless Kylo flies to the right, which I probably do. Just to like, like use like using Kylo for a buy. Like, hey, I'm I'm coming to you. No, I am not. I'm 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 flying away. Um, helping those um those ties and Malarus to 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 gain the flank. Uh, because it makes no sense if Kylo <laughs> comes in, in there is he's going to. Not only one, I'm probably going to suffer three, three, no, four, four attacks. And and for instance, uh, the red one is going to gain a calculate if, if Kylo moves straight because of the configuration. The configuration reads, um, before you engage, if you have no green tokens and no stress tokens, you gain one calculate token for each enemy ship at range two, three of your firing arc, maximum of two. So that red can gain a calculate if if he sees Kylo and with a calculate it can shoot the sinket laser cannons which is three dice at range to three. Yep, that's it. Kylo's flying away. <laughs> I yeah. don't wanna be here. <laughs> yeah. I get that. I get that. Yeah it doesn't make sense to joust with Kylo against four medium base ships. I mean, especially with the uh, the re rolls and uh, and ruthless, I think really pushes these guys over the edge. Let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the effects on Denny's side. So, uh, lay in is a card that's often often misunderstood. Okay, often misunderstood. I'm gonna go ahead and just read the ability, and we'll break it down slowly here. We do have a range three attack. Um, 
that might get set up here. But uh, Leighton Dre says, while a friendly ship at range 0 to 2 performs an attack, if you are in the defender's firing arc, so that means in the firing arc of the thing that's being shot, the attacker may roll one attack die. Okay? Now, also do note that there are no... Uh, that uh here we go one oh. two three oh not enough okay it's three eyeballs into three eyeballs i mean you weren't expecting to do damage in, the, in that turn anyway uh anything anything there would have been a bonus yeah but you are still spending the lock so it's um pro probably shouldn't have a spend the lock in, in this is coming here the tie with uh, that's that's two hits after, after spend the focus. <laughs> and right. it's safe because of the gas cloud. Gas cloud doing the work. <laughs> okay, so so you were reading light on yeah, just uh, I, I just just want to make sure that you you're checking the side arc of the enemy ship that you're shooting at uh, when you're when you're checking it, and then the zero to two is your friendly ship. So any of your buddies at range zero to two who are in that um, if if uh, if excuse me, sorry, I'm trying to read and talk at the same time. It's kind of uh, a, a, a friend of mine told me it's kind if you think it of like a reverse sinker, like sinker allows the, the attacker to reroll a die if the attacker is on the left or right side of sinker. Uh, light on allows you allows attacker to reroll a die if the defender is on the left or right side of light on. Right, but I, it's, I, really, I, it's really I, weird. It's really weird because you have to uh, consider. Uh, your friendly ship has to be range zero two of light and mm -hmm. the defender has to be on the on the side arcs. Um, sorry, of, of, you have to be on the uh, defender's side arcs. Exactly. So yeah, it's a completely reverse sinker. In sinker, you have to be on the left side, ref, left right side of sinker. Now it's light and has to be on the left right side of. Um, the the defender, which can get to, uh, and mo most of the time, both of them are, are going to be side to side, but it could happen that Lightang is flanking an enemy ship, so Lightang is on the left or right side of that enemy ship, but that enemy ship is on Lightang's front arc. Um, I understand how people can get confused with if if Lightang actually triggers in uh, in this. Attack or not? Yeah. Yep. It's just about just about remembering those uh, that it's Layton's position and uh, and range to friendly ships. Yes. All right. So those Tie Fighters are coming in, trying to grab some uh, uh, do do some damage, possibly to some of these brutes. Now you can see that. Denny is deciding to go towards that top of the board, flipping the turrets to the back, getting that set up, doing a hard right too. All right, looks like we're facing Ooh. down that mini swarm. Um, um, probably he's expecting Kylo to turn to the right again, because like like I mentioned, it, it doesn't make sense to Kylo to come close to Malarus. Malarus kind of uh, makes things more complicated for Kylo. Um, but these guys are in a, like, like in a, the other three guys are in a weird position. Red bumped, so red won't have any attacks. Uh, brown probably have an attack, but it's most likely an obstructed attack. Um, yeah, green won't be able to gain any calculates. Remember, you don't have to get any green tokens, and he already has a reinforced token, which won't go away until the end of the round. I mean, it's nice to cover so many space with your ships, but the the problem is, the problem is <laughs> like this. I, I say, if if your enemy ships are only going one way, then it doesn't matter how many places you cover. 
some of them you will be covering nothing. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And here comes Yellow is going to have, have a hard time turning around. I mean the the, the Yellow Onyx. Yes. And Malrus is there, ready to give those rerolls to those Epsilon Squadron Cadets. I think that's a coordinate action happening right now. Choose a uh, uh, choose a TIE uh, fighter, sure any you... TIE fighter. Uh, probably going to shoot. If you coordinate, you choose yellow. But the problem is that green can just say, okay, I'm not shooting at yellow. I shoot at the other guy. But okay, he went with it. All right, the betting is split exactly 50-50. Nobody knows what's going to happen this round. Here we go. Let's get it started. Malris checking for range at initiative five. One eyeball, one blank. Must reroll the blank. Takes a strain. Let's start collecting those red tokens. A hit and a focus. And it um, looks like we roll two dice at range three and come up with nothing. Yeah. Reinforce is really sad against two dice attacks because most likely uh, you are still going to suffer one damage. Oh, I mean, uh, most likely you can time. you can. Steal. <laughs> yeah. now, missing Kylo, just hitting the red one. Yeah, I don't have any choices. It, does, it also doesn't gain any more calculate token because one of the requirements is that doesn't have any. Yep. Okay, he's shooting with a cannon, I think. Hmm. All right, they are checking the the late in ability. The, yeah, the, the, the we are late and ability has to. But it is not happening. I mean, you, you, you actually, it's, it's like a, a really bad timing. You, you have to check the, them. Oh, oh okay. hit, hit, <laughs> crit, let's go. Yeah, and uh, because he st still has the calculate token, then red doesn't gain focus the out. bonus. Yeah. Has to spend the focus. I'm fine. Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check. Yellow probably also has an attack. Yep. Yeah, just barely on the edge of range three. Has a calculate set up, so this will be, uh, again, those synced laser turrets. And, uh, okay, okay oh. he must decide if he spends a calculate token, then the TIE fighter will gain the the right. bonus blank to blank on the reroll and two hits <laughs> if he spends the calculate then, then that means he's no longer calculating red will gain the range three bonus yep and yep, safe. safe and uh there pedro is referring to the uh the extra text here on uh on the sync laser turret the or not sync laser turret synced laser cannons if you are calculating the the defender does not apply the range bonus and calculating is the act of actively having a calculate if you spend it you're no longer calculating here's the next yeah. shot one of each yeah and you you this um is not at the beginning of attack when you actually decide how many the defense dice you are going to roll it's during the 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 roll defense dice step right so it, uh, if at that moment you're no longer calculating then that doesn't apply and okay that's three two, two hits and one crit again spending the calculate that means the he's going again to roll four dice and uh has the evade there you go you can choose then spends it Yep. And then yeah, you shoot at, at yellow, I think. Yep, going after yellow with the primary. Not bad. Oh, 
Let's see. Yellow still has a focus. Oh, it doesn't need it. Doesn't need to spend the focus. <laughs> so now come the the first order attacks. Range two. Oh, one hit doesn't have the focus because he spent it during defense. Mm -hmm. But like I said, reinforced tokens don't like to die to attack. He's still going, he's still I'll suffering. Always squeaking damage. stuff through. Oh, okay. So no matter what he rolls, That's one crit, crit going through. One crit going through. Panic pilot. Panicked. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that really hurts the configuration. The configuration also requires you not to be stressed. Yep. It will be. It will be at least one round when he will. He won't get any calculate token. Sad. Uh, those are three. Oh, those are three hits. Natties. Two more pop, going through. Pop. And yes, reinforce reduces that by one. So and that he's is half down points. To four. Yep. Yep. He's down down to four. I mean, um, it was a little. I don't say like the curious. I I think when Red shoot, he forgot about Ruthless because he was shooting at Yellow. Um, he rolled. I think he rolled two hits. On one one eyeball or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm 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 not sure. I'm not sure. There there were so many attacks. I, I I'm forgetting the the things. But but the thing now is that uh, green is the closest one to the tie fighters. But I'm not sure if you want the next round to use ruthless with green because green is like really close to dying. Uh, but also green is. Probably just out of the fight. Um, he won't get any calculate tokens because of the actions. He won't get any calculate tokens because of the configurations. Um, I, and he's probably just going to get bumped because of, of those TIE Fighters coming really close. Those TIE Fighters can probably just turn around to the left, hoping to flank uh, Brown. And forget completely about, about, about Green for a while. Also, yellow is uh, like really away from the fight. Red is also flying away from the fight. Yeah, that's uh, one of the issues with these back arcs, right? Is that it's hard to get the the onyxes sometimes, or sorry, the type brute uh, in, into into a position after that initial engagement. Yep. I mean, uh, I, I guess what he, what he tried to do, like. Probably covering this section, this corner. If Kylo comes here, or Kylo, or Kylo comes this way, and probably he didn't want to bump red. He, he bumped with red two rounds ago, and he say probably say, "Hey, the engage is coming. I don't want to get bumped again. I am flying away." Yep. But the problem here is that now, where does red go? Probably has to turn around, spend a couple of rounds coming back, and that is going to help the first order list. Punching damage and damage through those those tie, tie, tie heavies. By the time yellow comes around, it's probably the one or two tie heavies are gone, Even, including Lighten. Lighten is coming here. It, it, if those tie fighters turn to the left and Lighten comes straight, probably Lighten could potentially be out in a couple of rounds. Can I do the stress? No. No, no, he's not stressed. Oh, so he could also he's got do all a the one options. Left. Yeah. All the options. And that's a. Uh, oh no. Okay. I, mean, I think the plan here is just to try to annihilate the green onyx while you have it trapped. I mean, the uh, it's the fact that it has two stress on it right now. It's not going anywhere, but in front of you. Well, yeah, that that works for green, but I'm not sure if. No, not the other if, ones. The other ones probably do yeah. some. Uh, uh, why? Why they can't do? So okay. 4K. I think they. I wanted to check if if they move through the gas cloud, but the chat the chat says he 
He didn't move through. It was clean. Yep. Sloop. Oh, yep. Beautiful. He, he did. Oh, but he did clip barely on the gas cloud. Barely. And does take the strain. Yep. It won't be a problem if he doesn't get shoot. Get <laughs> shot. <laughs> it's yep. true. Oh, didn't bump. All right, so he's going to have an action there as well. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Um, and there is a two bank over. There are two shots coming in. Malris has not moved yet. Yeah, Malaris haven't moved. Um, uh, because this guy was double stress, cannot do the calculate rotate. Hey guys, I want to. Uh, I always like when this happens in games. It's really cool. Uh, but props to uh, to Michael in the tabletop simulator chat. Uh, D Danny almost missed his action with the green uh, with the. Uh, sorry. Um, oh well, I'm sorry. I misread that wrong. But anyway, no shout out to both of them. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it looked. It looks like uh, De De Denny. Denny jumped the gun with moving the, the type root, uh, before Red got an action. It looks like he took a squiggle. Took the evade. I mean, uh, we are not hearing the players. It's sometimes that one player uh, wants wants to rush, and sometimes forget um, if the other guy has some effects mm. and the la action linked actions. It's not. Um, it's not, it's not, it's not bad intentional. It's just some, sometimes you are like, oh man, this is going bad for me, or or this can go really well for me, and I'm just too concentrated on my things that I forget what the other player uh, has actually to do. So that's a 3K from Yellow trying to get him faster, but he cleaves the rock. I mean, at this point, that ship is irrelevant. If you you could have gone a more careful way, but this is the this is the fastest way to get you get you back into the fight. Yeah. Go 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 go. Does not oh. roll uh, roll anything there. Let's go ahead and clear that dice box out. There they go. They did it. Also, okay, turn to to the right. Now, talent. Oh, roll. sorry, sorry, sorry. To the left, to the left. I I misread that. <laughs> I actually like what the Thai fighters, yellow and green, did. I'm not really uh, happy about what Red actually uh, have done because Red is, Red wasn't going to get any shot uh, uh, shot anyway. Um, Malarus also. Oh, Kylo, what have you done? Kylo five straight. He's in the business right now. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm I'm not sure if Kylo's have going to have a shot uh probably not i think what he might be might have been worried about is the fact that yellow and brown could have pounced on him if he went slower on that left hand side of the board um probably but i, I think if you're not stressed you probably just should have like one turn to the left and then you can barrel roll or boost away in the any direction that you want. Um, in this case, you just yes, boosting probably away from Lightan, uh, but into you're, you're giving you're giving the green tie he, tie heavy um, an attack. Mm -hmm. Also, kind of in, in quite a weird position for next round. And uh, no attack from Kylo. Light and um I mean he's taking an unmodified shot. It's not it's not too dangerous. You can you can get out of this pretty easily by going uh you know three bank or five straight and boosting next turn. I'm not I'm honestly not too worried about it. Here comes the brown type brute going into Malris. Three hits. Spending the focus. And taking two there. Yep, no shields for Malarus. And now comes... Well, red and yellow, the arcs are, are facing backwards, so they won't have any attacks. And this is a range against one Kylo. Going into Kylo. Yep. 
Let's see if he makes him regret it. Um, yep, uh, uh, but I'm not sure if he should have stressed Kylo. If Kylo is planning on flying away next round, you could just spend a force here and not stressing yourself. Oh, it doesn't matter, like you said. The easy peasy yep. lemon squeezy. It didn't matter. And now come yellow and green. Uh, they 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 will have Malarus rerolls. They have the range two of her. Yep, that's a Malarus reroll for green. And one hit. One. Oh, okay. Down to three. And uh, that one can can kill. Yep, it could do it. Hit hit Only crit. Only hole remaining. Yep. Got him. Green is out. The green tie brute removed from the table there and takes a structural damage on the way out. Yep. Uh, good good news for, for Michael is that uh, the one that gets strained was green, meaning that yellow, which was already strained, doesn't gain another strain, another strain token. Remember, when you execute blue maneuvers, you only remove one strain. One stress and one deplete. If you guys have two strain, you still keep it for for one more round until you get attack or another blue maneuver. Uh, but right now, because yellow didn't have to use Malarus, it means that now to execute a blue maneuver, he's again a, a free tie fighter. Um, especially because at that position, the tie heavy the Onyx was a kind of blocking some of the movements of the TIE Fighter. Now that he's gone, th this entire space belongs to, to Michael. He can execute the maneuvers for both yellow and green with no problem of bumping the, the Onyx that, that was there. All right, now with three Onyx squadrons left, um... I mean, at least they haven't taken any damage. That's a positive. I think one of the issues, though, is th their positioning right now isn't uh, isn't great. Yep. Um, I mean, uh, I'm not sure what you what 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 you can do. I mean, I understand what yellow yellow has to go straight. The problem with red is that you go straight. Or you try to bank, hoping you can catch Kylo. Um, because Kylo is most likely going going straight. I, I don't think Kylo is going to turn to the left. Probably because he will be too close to Malarus, too close to the other TIE fighters. He could potentially bump against another ship. Probably Michael is saving Kylo for the late game. Um so so the red onyx could like band to the left and try to catch Kylo there uh -huh. while brown and yellow come from the center of of of, of the play mat but um, it's it's still like like right like like really hard like like if you check at that at the damage you have trade uh, one of your onyx for all the malarus shields you are really really behind uh, this damage race All right. There was some confusion in the chat yet. Yeah, so uh, the cards, the dials are not in the same order as the cards are on Michael's side. Do note that uh, Kylo's dial might be at the top left, but that's not Kylo's uh, card behind him. That's Malaris's card. So just uh, just a note there. I, I, I'm 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 a little OCD. So when I when I am playing against or I am watching uh, another <laughs> of my friends yeah. playing. And they do that. I'm not saying for like, ah, oh, no, that's. Can hey, you... you're, you're forgetting. Kylo, Kylo hasn't moved. I uh, know that's that's Malaru's dial. Okay, okay, that's. Yeah. 
I like I, I like get, when it's I, I, when it's in order as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I get why, why why people get confused or sometimes get upset. I get a little bit upset when I am watching games like that. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Keep it going. Now, as we're waiting here, I want to remind you, everybody, you have that free Twitch Prime sub. It's now called Prime Gaming every 30 days. Uh, if you want to show your support to the GSP channel, we really appreciate that here. Uh, it, it also counts towards our sub goal. We have those awesome prizes that we plan on giving out as we hit the goals. Thank you to everybody who has done it. Thank you so much. You can click that Twitch Prime button every 30 days. And if you don't know how to set it up, you can type exclamation point Prime in the chat. Some of the, uh, the video... Uh, you know, it looks a little bit outdated just because the uh, Amazon screen isn't up to date, but uh, the steps are literally exactly the same. Just different pictures. That's all. Okay, so so coming here, he probably is, is thinking yellow won't have a shot, so that's why he performed an evade action. Uh, he was mistaken because <laughs> yellow is actually going to have a shot. Uh, green is also having the, the shot. Red has had to K4. It's a little bit far, but the TIE Fighters are really, really fast chips, so that shouldn't be a problem for next round. All right, Pedro, I need uh, one second, okay? I'm going to go check something. Okay. Keep it up. Okay, here comes Yellow. You know, we have that rotate and calculate. Or to be sure, it's, yeah, first rotate and they calculate both white actions. Um, uh, nope, I, I think he's just rotating because of the configuration, um, which allows you to gain up to two calculate tokens uh, before you engage, but you cannot have any calculate, any green, green tokens. Red didn't, didn't want to bump, he's also coming through the center of the, the area. And if Kylo move forward, yep, that's going to give a potential flank for Kylo in a couple of rounds. Um, that could really help Michael's late game. It's probably, yeah, that's why he's saving Kylo. I, I think Kylo hasn't attacked a single time this round yet. He's he's more more feeling not not much of a Kylo, but probably more more like a like a Sunter follow or something. But uh, so far it's working. Um, I mean, you you want to to, to attack with Kylo at some point. I mean, it's like uh, he has the double the the health of Sunter, so it's really really weird to see Kylo just running away all all, all the match. Yeah, especially because... when when you have the opportunity to to overmaneuver the opponent and shot that is it is the case yep i mean a fully health kylo is really really it's just, it can Threatening. completely win your late game but mm -hmm. i'm not sure if you could i mean you have already taken down one of the uh, one of the enemy ships you could probably try to be a little more risky with kylo it's, but i think it's a matter of personal preference i i don't think it's a mistake yeah, uh, I, yeah, because uh, because you, you can use it as a as a lure tool to to make the opponent go to one side of the match, and and the other and the, and the rest of your list is starting to 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 give some pressure on it on the other side. Yep, but uh, in this case, he could take advantage of of. The positioning. Uh, oh, there's 41, 41 minutes left, so he could make some more damage. Yep. Okay, so this attack came two hits against Natty Evades. Uh, just having some struggle here. I'm not sure if you should add yellow. You should probably green. Yellow has evade and a focus token. Ha having expend them. So his first gaining two calculate token because of the configuration and uh, again shooting at yellow uh, again i'm not sure if this is the right call both of them are, are at range uh two hits uh, so... and this is against the uh the yellow tie fighter yep 
Uh, he's doing Ruthless. Ruthless to add that extra hit. Yep. Spends evade, takes uh, one damage on the yellow TIE Fighter. I think that's the first shield there. Yep. Also lost a shield from Light and because of the Ruthless. Um, uh, here comes... Oh, I think you shoot at Green. Because mm -hmm. uh, both of them are range 3 abstracted, but, um, but Yellow has the Gas Cloud. Exactly. That's why yep. I, I agreed with your assessment that I'm kind of surprised that they just didn't both shoot into the green TIE Fighter because of because of that shot right there. Ooh. Okay, this could be interesting. Hit, hit, crit. And he still has a calculate. Yep. So no range bonus. There might be the obstruction bonus, though. There is the obstruction bonus. Yep, it will be only, only four dice. Let's see. Uh, has the focus. Um, I mean, could potentially not spend the focus and just lose lose a shield. Uh, no, but he will spend. Hold on it. to it while you got it. Your health is your advantage right now in this uh, in this matchup. Yep. Yeah. I mean, uh, you are not the guy that like right now has to do the damage. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, the, 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 the Imperial player is the one that has to do the damage. Yep. And especially since these ships are one agility, it's pretty easy to push the push damage through, even if uh, you have to spend those mods on offense. And I think, I mean, on defense, and that's going to keep you ahead. Uh, it has the calculate. No damage there. Range one shot coming in from the yellow Tie Fighter. Oh, that's Malarus and. Focus on Dustin in Malarus. He has the one, focus. One, two, three hits. Looking at Layton, and she does get the uh, the squiggle there, but still taking two. Yep, you reckon to the hull. The shield was lost because of Rothless. And I'm not sure Red has any shot. I think Red is too far away. <sighs> Yeah, but 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 it was it was weird because uh, all all three tie heavies could have shot at Green, mm -hmm. all of them with three dice because Green was range two from from um, from Brown, but he has a cannon, so potentially that's the strip. One of them could strip the focus, the other one could uh, do some damage, um, but right now it's uh, again really behind the damage race. You could you have taken only one shield from the Tie Fighters, but instead have suffered three damage yeah. on on Leyden. In exchange, um, yeah, but but her, there are no damage cards there. No, yeah, no, no, uh, no good, no not not a good trade there. Oh, what happened to the damage cards? Uh, damage cards disappeared. She she it's a miracle. He healed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> there should be two damage cards out there. Um, uh oh. There is no command to, to restore damage card, right? No. I mean, it's it, because it's weird because there's 23 uh, damage cards left on the on the deck and only eight are dealt on the ships. If you do the math, that's 31 damage cards and you need to have 32. 33, so essentially two of them were erased. It's a little bit of a math problem that could affect because these ships has lots of health. It's the same problem that we had last match. Uh -huh. it, it is a prob there is a probability that we are going to need to reshuffle those damage cards. This is very true. <laughs> Well, or or may probably maybe we could yeah have um, a new version of the game when you don't have you don't have a 33 damage card but uh, like a 60 damage card. 66 damage cards. Take two decks, combine them together for full power. Could happen. But you have to actually you have to shuffle them separately and then just stack them on top of each other. <laughs> 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 so the odds still stay the same. Sounds good. You don't want to suffer like five different hits in a row. Exactly. Okay, so we're now in the game. So, I mean, uh, 
It, it's really funny that the initiative five from from Michael's list are like uh, we don't we don't want to attack, we don't need to attack, we are just moving away. Uh, the tie, the tie fighters are doing the work. Yep, that's the pawns move first in, in chess. So the pawns are doing just just all the work. Um, Malarus is flying away. Probably Malarus is just going straight, uh, having that that gas cloud on her left for protection. Kylo still hasn't shot a single round. But I mean, he's, he's well... the end game. His job, his job is to be alive at the end and arc dodge whatever's left. And in this matchup specifically against the the uh, the tie heavies is the fact that because they again they have such low agility that these tie fighters are really effective against them. So until you you've actually lost a tie fighter, maybe two, you really don't even need Kylo in there. They've already managed to take one of the the tie brutes out. Just keep keep doing what you're doing. Well, that that is really very true because um, with that strategy, uh, Michael is really ahead of the damage race. Has already taken one of the tie heavies out. The other one is really close to half points. I think it's uh, two two uh, two damage away from half points. And the red tie heavy is in a really weird spot if he wants to get inside. Okay, no anymore. Uh, I was I was expecting the. Oh, he didn't bump there. Nope. Nope, threading the needle. Very nicely. Looks like the oh, plan yep. is going after the yellow type root. Yeah, he's he's flying really good. I, I don't think he, he have he have bumped with those type fighters and, and some of them are like uh, really flying together but not executing the same maneuver. So that is like really, really good flight. Alright, waiting. Moving for... away lighten. Uh, he's he's locking. Yeah, moving that uh, the target lock out of the way. All right. So you could lock because at uh, before you engage, you you gain your calculate token. So mm -hmm. that's. And that was rotated towards the back. So we'll have a shot. Uh, he's also calculating here. Um. Oh. That bumped. Won't have any shots. Um, oh no, probably we'll we'll have a shot on yellow. Yeah, because the the arc is forward right now. Yep. And Kylo coming here. Is he finally making the turn in? He sure is. Probably start sneaking up. I mean, he's he's safe to to boost and take a shot at range three. Um. Yes. I mean, you you are free. Uh, the, the the yellow's arc is pointing backwards, so he won't have anyone shooting at him. Red is also pointing forward. Barrel okay. roll boost. Okay, I, that's a, that's pretty aggressive. I'm I'm surprised to see that steep of an angle. Um, Larus will come in here. Nothing. Well, get the strain. Well, it wouldn't matter because she she's also not threatened this round. Mm -hmm. Going into the yellow type brute, it is just barely at range two. Two attack dice. One. Only one. One going through. Oh, uh, here comes Kyle's range three. And that was the shield. Three more dice. Hit crit. Ooh. Malarus uh, reroll. Roll Malarus. Yep. But this is the moment when you want uh, you don't care if Kylo gets a strain when nobody's going to shoot at him. Yep. Oh, Natties. There you go. Kylo still not doing damage yet. Um. Yeah. Here comes. Yeah, but at least he should. That's that's a good start. <laughs> that's a good start. Um, I mean, first, uh, first light and engage. She will have to gain the calculate tokens. 
Hit hit crit after spending? Oh no, no does he have no, no tokens? No, she, she didn't she didn't gain calculate tokens. Weird. Oh, it doesn't matter. You you can just roll your way to to full hits. Yeah, <laughs> that worked out. Yep. So that looks like but, one damage on the green tie fighter. Yeah, but 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 I think Danny forgot that he could actually gain those calculate tokens. Oh, I'm sorry, a that, that's against the yellow one, and it is a council fire. Yep. I had said green. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, that's half I really point. Love, I really love Kylo art on Michael's side. Oh, the card. Yep. Yeah. That's a range one. Getting some focus fire as much as possible, trying to take a time fighter off the board. Here we go. The type root could happen. Firing out the back. That's hit crit right now. Um, yeah, he could chest for a light, but I don't think he's on the right side. Um, okay, one more crit. Second crit going into the tie FO. Let's see. Wounded so that pilot? Wounded pilot? Still don't want to go, but we have red shot. Red, uh, you have to win here. You have to gain your calculate tokens, man. There they are. Yep, only one. But that allows the cannon. Oh, one crit only. Wait, that's all he needs. Oh, ruthless. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I mean, that's what you're bringing the upgrade. If you bring it, you have to use it. And that. Pop, Goodbye, pop. yellow. So right there, with that TIE Fighter being taken off the table, the score is 50 to 25. Did he, somebody saying in the chat, he didn't even get to do the council fire. Not allowed. Yep. Banned from the fires. And now comes red. Probably just focus firing on yellow. Hazamalarus. Mas Malarus. Hit crit. Nice. And got debate. But it's still the suffering a crit. The, yep. Disable power regulator. All right. Disable power regulator going to be dishing out some crits. Oh, excuse me, some ions. Yep, but it will be a couple of rounds before it gets actually ionized. Um, I, I think Kylo cannot stay away from the fight much longer. He, he needs to continue playing. Um, like, I don't know if more aggressive, but just not going away. Um, <laughs> what should each player do? Um, I mean, Mal Malarus is in a great spot here. Because uh, she can just go bang to the left mm -hmm. and try to hit yellow. And you want to take yellow. I mean, uh, the good thing is yellow is uh, down to uh, how many? Six? Six hole? Yep, six hole. Yes. Um, Lightning is also down to six hole. Um, the there's a probability you can initiative kill them with both Malarus and Kylo. Yeah, I mean, as long as you have Kylo, the fact that Kylo has not taken any damage is absolutely massive for Denny. Because that piece can, uh, as long as you take off one more brood off the board, uh, becomes very, very strong. Very hard to track down without at least three ships trying to corner him. I mean, you could, um, let's say, uh, try to block yellow with red. Bank with Malarus and then bump with Kylo, hoping that you could 
initiative kill them. I mean, ah, but you will need five, no, oh, sorry, six damage to go through with no single evade. I mean, it, it could work because if you bump yellow, yellow will have the turret pointing backwards. Even if Malarus and Kylo fail to kill it, they won't suffer any any revenge shot. Yeah, but you're also I, you're also I, I, kind of banking is for Michael for now. But, if, but Ma if if then he managed to take down another Tie Fighter without losing a Tie Heavy, then it's going to be a more balanced game, a more balanced situation. Mm -hmm. There's also uh, 24 minutes left. There's still quite a chunk of game left, so it could still develop into something. And that is one of the things about the type root is because they do have so much health, they can sometimes uh, their their extra health can sometimes catch you off guard when you start getting towards the end game and you realize, wait a second, three of these things are still alive. <laughs> I thought they only had one agility, you know, but sometimes they're they're definitely above that threshold of of being able to uh, to surprise. That's right. Oh, let's say uh, so. Lightang is a little a little out of the game. If, if if all first order ships go to the center of the game against yellow and red, then this round. Probably light and will, won't have any any attacks this round. Right. That's uh, that's a little bit weird, and it has happened. Is it the second time that has happened in this game when one of the tie heavies tried to get a shot, but at the same time moves away too far that it will cost that tie heavy a couple of rounds before returning to the to the game. Yeah, I find it happened with both. Yes. No, no, yeah. I was, I was gonna say one of the problems is that uh, so Denny is doing a great job of cycling these guys, but I feel like this cycle that he's doing is really good against, let's say, like maybe the three and four ship lists, right? Where you can keep at least three of those arcs on at a time. But as you start doing K turns and stuff, you're, you're just, you just don't have enough. Uh, consistent targets. You're you're forced to switch targets constantly, which uh, Denny, uh, excuse me, which Michael probably wants you to do in order to avoid focus firing down one of his ships. Yes, I mean, you, if you first started shooting at Malarus, I mean, you first started start shooting at the Tie Fighters. Mm -hmm. You didn't do any damage. Then you shoot at Malarus, and then you have to spend two rounds shooting yellow because the first round you just strip the shield and you have to kill him the second round mm -hmm. with all three attacks from your three remaining ships so if, if that's an indicator of how this game is going to go that means in the next four rounds you're you will, i mean you'll have to spend four rounds killing two tie fighters just just 50 points Yep. And you still have the big guy Kylo there, like like you mentioned, Ian. Yeah. Still I mean, fully hull, fully shield. I mean maybe maybe what Denny has to do is switch tactics now. I mean he's he is already behind and there is definitely value in just trying to go for the uppercut. Maybe you just start chasing down Kylo and do the best you can. Uh, after that here, there is the focus. Here here comes the the attempt of blocking Blocking yellow. Um, I, he, I think here you just rotate. Mm, I mean, a, a three bank with yellow, I think it goes, moves through, through red and avoid a bump. Oh, yeah. Three bank for sure. 100%. Let's yeah, see if then he has space. foreseen this. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Hopscotch, baby. Yep. Someone said it in the chat and that, that, that that's what happened. The tree bank avoid the bump. Won't get initiative killed here because uh, probably Malarus or Kylo or both are going to bump at him. Yep. He's and debating he on his action now. Yeah. Uh, um, he's probably debating rotating, you think? Uh, I mean, he's pointing backwards, and because of the ability, he has. 
I mean, not anymore. But if he spends the focus, he will gain double calculate tokens before he engage. But he has to spend tokens. Um, Match I mean, one, he's four, probably three, just doing the Thank focus, you. hoping defensive and. Brown coming here, but, but probably Brown wouldn't have any attacks these rounds. And it looks like they're ready to go with the next round. Let's see what Let's we see. get. First, Malarus bumping. Mm -hmm. So if Kylo bumps here, that's going to be oh, no. awesome. Does not win fast enough to get out of here. Oh, that was really close to the gas cloud. Um, here, try to boost to the left and uh, and still uh, and put some pressure on on Lydon. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, I mean, you, you could already just have move, move forward, but uh, you don't want to shoot at right. You want to shoot at the the ones that you have already damaged. And do note that in uh, in Denny's list, one cool list building feature he has in there is the fact that all four of them are only 50 points. So there's not more or less, uh, at least points value, in destroying one or the other. It's all about uh, tactical decisions and what makes sense that you can have enough points to win at the end of the day. Oh, did they need to spend the luck? Did they need to spend the force? Double hits and a crit, all going through Lydan. All right. Oh, which is a crit? Weapons failure. Oh, that's e that. Holy. Okay, weapons failure on that ship. Not happy about that one. Oh, Malarus doesn't have any attack. And he also have points of Lydan. Oh, yeah, and it, that's down to three hole, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Kylo could kill could kill him next round. Already has the lock on Lydon, and didn't have to spend it. Set him up, knock him down, baby. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, here comes Red. Uh... Red against red, range three. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the the shot in the back from yellow, so that makes sense. Yep. We'll get the roll right here. Two crits. Oh. Yep. Looking strong into those Tie Fighters. Uh, he he won't spend the calculate, so that would mean. Uh, that w there won't be a range bonus. No range three, only three dice. Uh, four? Why is asking? No, but it, should, it should be three. Right, because he's calculating. Yep. Um. What are they debating? Yep, that, 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 that's it. All right. How to spend the focus? Uh, oh, they're also One also ruthless. Ah, ruthless. That's where I was like, where did that other damage yes, come yes. from? Took me a yes, second. I, I was, I was like, <laughs> where's that hit? He, he he's ruthless on on yellow. Yellow is is down to down to five. Whoops! I had those flipped. Uh, oh. Could be a dead TIE Fighter. Hit, Let's hit, crit. Let's find out. Yep. Pop, pop. That's nice nice work for Danny, taking down two TIE Fighters in two rounds, in two following rounds. So starting to close that gap. Uh, 75 to 50 now. Yep. But uh, the problem here is that he could potentially lose light on next round. Um, and, and it's going to be like a really hard time for two tie heavies to chase down Kylo. 
a fully yeah. health Kylo. Yep. I, I think I think that in the end is going to be um, the regret of Denny not spending enough time trying to uh, to get Kylo. Though props to Michael. Michael has uh, has forced Denny to pay attention to those Tie Fighters. Uh, that's right. Uh, that's um, that was a roll. Okay, let's do it. Oof. Uh, let's see. And that seems Ow. to slip through. That yep. is a direct uh, hit. That's Two a damage. Oh, yeah. Also, yellow has to be ionized because of the disable power later. I think he suffered that last round. All right. So yellow is down to four. Is that correct? Four, five. Uh, I think yes. It's, oh, uh, three. Uh, no, it's right. down to three. Three. Yep, that, there's the ion token. And that ion token uh, coming from the uh, Disable Power Regulator card before you engage, gain an ion token. After you execute the ion maneuver, you can go ahead and uh, repair this card. Now, um, you could take down a TIE Fighter with two shots. The problem is you won't have that next round. Um, red is going away. I mean, this is the third time that's happening. A tie, mm -hmm. a tie heavy is running, is going away, getting a shot, and it has to get even farther away before returning. And that means the next round, red is probably not going to have any shots. Um, and if Lightham dies first, I mean, before shooting, then it will be only yellow shooting at green, meaning that probably, most likely, Green is going to survive. I mean, you could have some crazy things like uh, direct hit, direct hit, a field leak, direct hit, but most likely, Green is going to to survive. Um, I mean, he, he needs to read what Kylo is going to do and try to to keep Lightan alive at least one more round, but I, I think it's going to be really, really difficult. And as we are waiting here, I want to remind you guys that this round and all of our rounds this weekend are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. They are having their Black Friday sale right now. You can uh, just go to their website. You can get the link by typing exclamation point CPC in the chat. No code necessary. It's automatic, including our uh, official GSP LED lamps. You can get those now for a limited time. Thank you to everybody who does as it greatly supports the show. Yeah, Kylo is in uh, is in a power position right here because you can go left or right. You can decide to continue to um, continue to circle oh. the rocks as needed. Yep, that's a bump. That's a bump for Green. I mean, he tried to avoid the gas cloud. I, I understand why he didn't do uh, uh -huh. a, a one uh, a too hard. But got the bump here. Uh, he, this guy is stressed. Won't get any calculate token this round. Too hard coming from. Most Lane. likely blocking the too hard from Kylo, I think. Yes. Yes, it does block it that way and gives a good shot on the backside. Let's say what. Uh, that's a, a lock. Let's hope he, he forgets that he actually has a weapons failure on Lightan. So even with a cannon, it would mean only two dice. Um, yeah, uh, even going going even farther away. For for red, uh, attempting a lock. No, no enemy ships at range. Mm -mm. Just barely. 
Yeah, he's he's he's, he's stuck in Kylo, but 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 the chat says Kylo is away. Is, out of, is out too of far range, away. Yeah. Yeah, don't 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 trust your eyes. Your eyes deceive you. Trust the chat. Yeah, it's it's out of range. Yep. Just for for all y'all who want to see. Yes, you, you 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 have you have to to look through the lies of of the pixels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean. It, <laughs> Depends on your monitor. Who knows? Maybe, maybe you got some uh, some screen tearing going on. Oh, Malrus bump. bump in there. But honestly, isn't a huge deal. The bump there takes away a shot. Um, I mean, you if you are Malarus, you you want you want to bump, especially if you are. Even if if Lydan survives, it's only going to be a two two die shot because of the weapon's failure. So you're okay. Two dice is not going to to give away half points. Not yet, at least. Uh, I think now he's unsure if Kylo sees Lydan. Yeah, I think we got that corner to corner right there. Not okay. Not anymore. Oh yeah, now we're But he's <laughs> he's now moving too close to red. Mm. What happened? I'm not sure. I mean, um, I mean, I understand why Kylo Barber roll, but I, I, I would have left him there. I think you could have. I mean, you would have had a range one shot. I mean, he's just he's going with conservative, conservative move. He's trying to avoid the really, really bad one. I mean, he probably tried to avoid yellow shot, but he ran into red shot. So it was it was a little weird, but let's see. Um, okay. Only one eyeball for yellow. Just barely going into the green TIE fighter. Yep. And also receiving the second ion token. Soon to be ionized <laughs> due to the disabled power regulator. Yep. That means uh, Malarus bank one to the right next round is probably going to hit, have a, sh a good shot at yellow. Okay, two hits. From downtown, going into Kylo Ren. Kylo will have four dice. He's got focus. He's got force. He's got all the things. Checking for the ruthless trigger, and I think that is nope. the that that's definitely one of the reasons why we saw the barrel roll. But I guess you probably wouldn't have been in, in range from the red. But anyway, just uh, just two hits. Four coming in. Safe. Kylo safe. And now comes Layden. And spends right there. No problem. Oh, right, right. Because he was calculating. He couldn't spend the calculate. Because he didn't roll any eyeballs. So, yeah. That, that uh -huh. was with no range bonus. Um, he needs to remember... The okay, he's first taking the calculate tokens, and I mean he he's probably going to shoot at at Malarus, but he has a weapons failure, so it will be only two dice. Sad type root. <laughs> yep. I mean I I hope he remembers because he hasn't placed any crit. Quick reminders around Lydon. Yep, uh, I'll prepare. I'll prepare the chat. Yep. The, the, well. the, there was there was a quick token uh, next to yellow because of the power later, but there is none around Lydon. So I mean, it, it, they they could still have good memory and re I remember that. This is true. 
Should be just one die. And he didn't. He didn't remember that. Weapons yep. failure. Try it again. Yeah, I think he just read that. Redo. Redo. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Okay, Hit so even better. <laughs> Hit it, and crit. No need an, to spend the luck. Had an opportunity to warm up that uh, those dice. Ooh. And blank, blank. All right, Malware is going to be taking both of those. Could be half points if he draws a zero hit. It blinded is a pilot. blinded. That's so interesting. So she cannot use her own ability. Ah. Because it says if able. And she will be able unless she repairs the card. I so, hit too many buttons. Uh, Sorry, uh, guys. So it's now ironic. She can reroll other people's dice, but not her own. <laughs> that sounds like a quote that I've heard before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now attacking from the Epsilon Squadron Cadet, and uh, that's a no-no. He bumped. Only one hit. Save. Okay, so Kylo got in a in a bit of a weird position this round. Mm -hmm. He he still has some space if he wants to chase light and down, light and down to only three hull. Yellow one down to three hull as well. Also ironized. Yep. That means Be he's moving moving straight. And can only focus. Yep. Um, I feel like Malaris in in this game, Michael has has not really. Uh, Kylo has played very little. He's been mostly a distraction. Yep. I mean, you you can play him like that. Uh, um, I I don't see many players playing it like him because. Uh, but that's the thing when you when you're playing like a really big tournament, like more than one hundred players, and you don't know your opponent very well. You don't know how your your opponent is going to play. And yep. sometimes you say, no, Kylo's coming in this round. No, no, Kylo has to come in. No, Kylo needs to, to do a two-turn, come to my ship and do some damage. And if your opponent is, no, I'm playing in this ship. Come here, and now I move away. No, come here. I, I, oh, I, I'm drawing you away. The yeah, it's, it's a distraction, and, and it also works really, really good. Uh, here comes Green Tie Fighter. The green coming to Lydan. And uh, that's the Ion maneuver. Slowly headed towards the board edge. Don't get ionized again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, that's a three talon for red. Uh a uh, Steve465 asking a question, an uh, unrelated question, say, you, do you die when your hole is at zero even if you still have shields? 100% yes. And that is possible with uh, concussion bombs. And I'll show you the dark side. There would be some ways to do that. I, I, I remember uh, it wasn't on single edition. I, it was on first edition when uh, I, I saw a tight defender die because of I show you the dark side. They, they, they. I showed you the dark side three times, on the poor tie defender and the tie defender died. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you. Oh, you're dead. Yep. <laughs> he, he, he didn't lose any. I mean, it's, 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 she didn't lose any shields because it was uh, the countess. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, I, I saw that. I was like, and the player was like, what? What has this <laughs> happened? Oh, nice. Side, side to side. Looks like uh, Mowers is trying to hunt down that tie brute. Um, and I think here you repair your blinded pilot. There's no need of, of, of just doing the focus. I mean, you, you repair the blinded pilot because you have a better shot. Oh, mm -hmm. or jam. Okay, you could just jam him. That works too. Uh, 
and Kylo coming here. Mm, he's going to be shot. He's going to be shot. Yep. Um, there is no point of barrel rolling because of the of the cannon that can actually still get you. Yep. So I think you just focus here. Focus and hope. I mean, you could barrel roll to the right if you have the space just to have the space for next turn, like your maneuvers. You could do a hard two in and be facing your uh, opponent I, there. I think he's going to try. Yes, yep. and that's exactly what he did. Also went as far backwards as possible, hoping to get out of the arc. I don't think he did, but you can try. Malris does not have the edge of the arc on the base of the Brute. Let's Going down see. to our lower initiatives here. So that jam token should be should be removed because the focus. Okay, first light and Oh, Kyle is out. Oh, nice. That barrel thank, roll yes, did thank, the work. Yes, the barrel. The barrel worked. Here we go. Range one. And I think Lightang is on the right arc of uh, that cadet. So that means that we roll. Two hits. Two, two hits. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, baby. Cam's going to be in a calculate. I mean, that the jump token is there, but the jump token should yeah, it should be, be clear. Removed. It 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 doesn't. Uh, yeah. I mean, I I think that probably some people watching would say, hey, but he has a jump token. Okay, it didn't matter. <laughs> Just roll natties. Yep. And this is a time in our game. Hit hit crit. The crit does squeak through. Uh, but to the shields. Yep. Yep, red is out of the fight, and now comes green. Trying to see what we can get on the way out. This is our last round again. Yep, it's time in the round. I mean, uh, you could try and kill Lydon. It's three hole, hole left. Range one. Uh, oh, oh, you have Malarus. I mean, he, he must Molaris. Yeah, but that won't do it. He needed three. Yep. Even <laughs> with uh, taking the two right there, leaves him down to one. All right. Very nice. Uh, that was it. Yep. Well, congratulations to uh, to Michael for winning that game. First order versus <laughs> very nice. First order versus the uh, versus the Empire.